Hey guys, uh, this is Case from Amazing Calgary Comics and uh, today is my farmer's market, flea market kind of haul video. I went out there today with my wife and we went digging through boxes, looking at tables and uh, let me show you guys what I got. Um, so I want to start off with the Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, the Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. run. Um, these are some really, really cool books. Um, I got one, two, four, and five. They did not have three. Um, absolutely um, sharp corners. Uh, really, really nice covers in total. And you can't really go wrong with uh, Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. Now, these books are not worth a whole lot, but, you know, it's a really, really important run. Uh, there's a cover with Electra, obviously. Um, it kind of is a retelling of the entire story. Um, there's a cover with Kingpin on it. And you know what? Uh, you can never go wrong with a Frank Miller Daredevil. That's my opinion. So uh, there's a throwback cover as well to the original um, costume. Um, so I got these for about a buck a piece. And uh, I was super, super happy to find them. I've just got to now search for number three so I can uh, complete my run. Um, but yeah, so those are the first books I got. Um, I was watching Mercenaut's uh, comic book poll videos and he picked up one of these the Emperor Joker book uh, with Mr. Mixelplick on the bottom there and uh, I really really love uh, this cover I'm a huge Joker fan everything Joker um, that's just me so when I saw this book uh, it had a five dollar price tag on it the guy took uh, took a few bucks for it so I was really really happy with that and uh, yeah so I was able to pick that book up for a pretty good price uh, the next book, not really worth a whole lot, but it's a beautiful cover. This is Classic X-Men number one. Um, this is kind of a throwback cover to the giant size X-Men number one. And uh, it's got all of your favorite X-Men right there on the front cover. Um, this was, again, in the dollar bin. Um, but it's in a very fine plus uh, condition, near mint. Um, I just love the cover. I love the X-Men. So I thought, what the heck, I'll throw it in, uh, throw it in my collection. Uh, the next one was also in the dollar bin. Um, this is Alpha Flight number one. Uh, everybody, you know, from from the X Men to I can't, I think that's Captain Canuck, um, to Spider Man to the Fantastic Four, Captain America. Everybody's on this front cover, um, and you know, it's actually a really fun read if you guys uh, have never read the Alpha Flight series. Uh, they basically use everybody in the Marvel universe. Um, Daredevil's in there. Um, you guys got to check it out. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a great read. And again, for a buck, um, Marvel Alpha Flight number one is a pretty good pick. Um, now, this is a great book. This is Superman uh, number 199. This is the first race between Superman and The Flash. Um, this is an iconic, iconic uh, cover, obviously. Um, you know, back in the day, the big discussion was who would win in a race, Superman and the Flash, and they decided to, uh, you know, to put to write it down in a comic book. Uh, this one, I believe, was $10, uh, which is actually a steal if you look at, uh, you know, eBay prices and dealer prices. Uh, this is a very, very great book. Um, you know, there's uh, Batman in the back. This is what makes me laugh. He's uh, he's cheering on the Flash. He wants Superman to lose. He's yelling, "Show him up, Flash!" It's really kind of kind of funny there. So that was a great book, a great find, a uh, nice twelve cent issue for uh, ten bucks, and uh, this one as well. Um, the Tales of Asgard number one. Uh, this is basically everything to do with Thor. There's a bunch of different stories in this. This is a really thick. Um, thick issue. Um, you've got uh, Thor in the front in a real kind of circular, um, beautiful cover. You've got Odin on the side with the horse. You've got Loki down here in the corner. Um, every character from the Asgard realm basically uh, makes an appearance in this book, and uh, it's a great, uh, a great copy to own. It's not overly expensive. You can find it for, you know, around ten dollars. I picked this one up for five. Um, it's in very good condition, so that's a, a bonus, but really it's just, if you like Thor and, uh, you're, you're a collector of Thor, this is definitely, um, one of those issues that you should be on the lookout for. Um, now we have Kevin Eastman, uh, creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming to Calgary 
for the uh, Comic Expo this year, and uh, I decided I wanted to go out today and find a book for him to sign. Uh, so I found Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Authorized Martial Arts Training Manual, number one. Uh, this was published by Solson Publications, and uh, I believe um, it's more of a scarce book. I've only seen a couple of copies. Now, I got this for 10 bucks. Uh, I talked him down, five on it. That's about what it's worth. Um, you're looking at about $10 for it, but I really love the, the colors on this book. This is definitely a near-mint copy. Um, I doubt if it's ever even been read. It's got sharp, sharp corners and uh, not a single bend or tear on it at all. Um, absolutely a beautiful copy. So that's uh, what I picked up for uh, Kevin Eastman to sign for me at this expo. Uh, at the same farmer's market, same stall, I found uh, an old uh, 12 cent copy of The Adam and Hawkman. Uh, this is the last 12 cent issue and the first appearance of the Gentleman Ghost. Um, on the cover you can see Hawkman being beat up with uh, horseshoe prints all over his body because the horse just trampled him halfway to death. Um, I got this book for five bucks. I talked him down a few dollars there. He gave me a bit of a, um, a bonus. It's not in the best shape. There is some um, uh, spine stress along the side. Um, the bottom corner on the right is is a little worn, but it's a beautiful book, a beautiful copy, and uh, you know it does sell from anywhere from fifteen to twenty bucks depending on the uh, the grade. So I, you know, I did pretty well on that book as well. Now this is definitely a book I was excited to find. It is super slept on. Uh, this is Detective Comics five eighty three by Mike Mignola. Um, the same guy who created uh, Hellboy and um, the BRPD. Um, this is the first appearance of the Ventriloquist and Scarface. And for you Batman fans out there, you guys know that uh, they are a pretty um, major uh, villain duo now in the uh, Batman universe. Um, it's always been, you know, kind of a question like who is the, the major villain? Is it Scarface or is it Ventriloquist? Anyways, this is the issue where they uh, make their first appearance. Um, I found this in the dollar bin. It had a $3 price tag on it, but uh, he only charged me 2 bucks for it. So I got a near mint copy. All the corners are really, really clear. The color is amazing. No bends, no folds, just a real crisp copy of Detective Comics number 583. Um, like I said, this is super slept on, guys. You can still pick this copy up for, you know, anywhere from three to five bucks on eBay. And I, I just don't know if people realize it's a first appearance of a, of a villain in the Batman universe. But take a look out there for it, guys, and keep your eyes open. Uh, this book I've wanted for a long time. This is Tales of Teen Titans, uh, The Judas Contract, number 44. Uh, this is obviously the first appearance of Nightwing, uh, who was Dick Grayson, the original Robin in the Batman and Robin comics. Uh, it's also got a really cool um, uh, Deathstroke cover on it as well. And I really like the, the kind of um, the three-pane comic um, cover on there as well. So uh, this was a $30 book. I bought it for $30. Bucks. Um, I talked him down $10 on it. And this is in very fine plus uh, to near mint minus kind of. Um, the, the, the spine is amazing. The staples are in great shape. It's lying flat and uh, all the corners are. I would, I would myself say very fine plus. Um, but I grade my books a little harsh. Um, I think a dealer would definitely put a near my a near mint on this book. So I was very happy to find that. And uh, I got it from the same um, from the same dealer. I picked up the Man Called Nova issue one. Uh, this only cost me ten bucks. Uh, it's a pretty hot book right now. Um, you know, with uh, they just released it again. They're making a new run of it. Uh, the corners on this aren't the best. Uh, there is a small um, uh, bend throughout here, and the bottom right corner is not the great. I would say very good condition on this. Uh, it's a great cover. I really, really enjoy it. Um, first appearance of Nova, obviously. And uh, I, I did a kind of a, a, um, a deal where I got this book and uh, this book, uh, Incredible Hulk 271, first appearance of Rocket Raccoon, which is huge because of the um, the new G Guardians of the Galaxy movie that's coming out. Um, I, I did a, um, where I got both of these books for, for 50 bucks. So I got a, you know, a fine, 
you know, it's in about fine, uh, fine condition and a uh, very good condition of man called Nova number one, um, for 50 bucks for the both of them. So this is a huge book. This is totally hot right now. Everybody's looking for a good copy of that. Um, definitely hold out guys. I know you guys can find a really great copy of this book for, for a good price, but, uh, don't hold out too long because people are definitely, um, you know, kind of just gouging people on the price of this book so keep your eyes open this is definitely a book uh to look for before the movie comes out and uh hopefully the movie's a hit so the book stays at uh at a nice price there for you collectors anyways guys this has been a uh, case from amazing calgary comics uh this has been um my flea market uh farmer's market haul video hopefully you guys like it um, if you would like, uh, subscribe, you know, comment on my videos. It would help me out. I'd really like, uh, you know, to support this community a little bit more and make some more great videos. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about my books, guys. And uh, if there's any other books that you think I should be out on the lookout for, let me know. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.